Welcome to the Lazy and Lock channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you for stopping by. And if you're a returning subscriber, as usual, thank you for your subscription and welcome back. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how frequently or infrequently I wash my sister locks. The reason why I go that long and also some of the products that I use to allow me to go a long stretch without washing my locks. Another thing I'm gonna go into is I'm going to be reviewing and showing you some head ties, head wraps, and head pieces that I use for my sister locks that I find very useful, that maybe you could find useful as well. And I'm also going to be reviewing a cap that I found at my local beauty supply store. I'm always searching to find different things when it comes to my hair, how to wrap it and keep it up, especially because of the coronavirus pandemic. So if you're interested in all of these things, stay tuned and I'm gonna show you and share everything with you in a little bit. Hair update, I haven't washed my hair since I think it was the beginning of October. I needed a wash, so I did wash my hair. My hair is tied up now in the towel drying. So the reason why I don't wash my hair often is because I honestly don't feel the need to. I, since the pandemic started, have been in habit of covering my hair. I've been in habit of covering my sister locks, making sure that my sister locks is up and away from the elements. I am constantly in a metropolitan environment where I'm using public transportation, I'm around a lot of people, so I just always practice keeping my hair up in a way. And because my hair is tied up all the time, I don't feel the need to have to wash my hair because it's not it's not out in the open. And some people might say it's disgusting and girl, sis, you need to wash your hair. Let me tell you something. It don't bother me at all, okay? It honestly doesn't bother me. And this is the reason why. When I go that long without washing my hair, I still tend to my hair in a sense. And I'm gonna show you some products that I use that helps me with that. So one thing I do use is I use the Herbal Cleanse Dry Shampoo Shampooing Second ORS. It's like a, like a gel or serum. And I use this because it works. When I was in a service and I used to be out in the field and stuff like that, this is what I would use on my hair when I couldn't get to my hair and wash it. You go in with this, you put it in your scalp, and then I would go in with a wet napkin, and I would just palm it and just kind of massage my scalp with it, and it'll get it clean. I mean, it's not gonna get clean as if you're running under a shower, but it gets the job done, and it actually allows me to stretch out my washes for a longer period of time. So when my hair starts to itch a little bit, what I use is the Sulfur 8 Dandruff Treatment for Braids. Now, these stuff I had before I was locked, like I said, I used this when I was in the service, and then I also used this when I was loose and I was getting corn braids and stuff of that nature. This helps with the itching. Now, I won't like go crazy with this because once my hair starts to itch, it's that's it. When my hair starts to itch to the point where it's like, okay, I'm sticking a rat tail tooth comb in there trying to like, get the itch away or when it starts to smell bad, that's when I know I gotta wash my hair. So this stuff is not to ignore the fact that I need to wash my hair. This is just being used so that I can get through the six to eight weeks of me not washing my hair. Another thing I do and use is I mix tea tree oil with some rose water. And this one is from the body shop just some regular tea tree oil and then Benjamin's rose water, Benjamin's. So when my hair feels dry and brittle because it needs the moisture that I would get from washing my hair, I'll just put some tea tree oil in rose water, put it in a spray water bottle, and I'll just go in and also mess my hair. Now that's just to have moisture in my locks so it's not dried up. And also, if you didn't know, tea tree oil has some good properties. So this and this together pretty much works good in keeping my hair moisturized and also keeping the antimicrobial aspect alive in these sister locks while I have it up. The last thing I use to combat dryness for going or when I go long periods of time without washing my sister locks is I just use some 
extra dark. This is the one I have, Jamaican Black Castor Oil. And I use this primarily around my edges because your edges could get dry. So you wanna make sure that you at least moisturize your hair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take some right now and I'm gonna put it on my finger. And because I just washed my hair, I'm just gonna put it on my hairline. And this is just to moisturize my hair line because as we all know, the hairline is very important and you wanna make sure you get that taken care of, all right? So that's pretty much what I use. Now that I've showed you the products and stuff that I use to prolong my washes, let me go into the things that I use as a head wrap. And I'm also going to be reviewing this spandex cap. This is super long. I'm gonna be putting this on right after I take this towel off. Some of you may have your own methods on the way you wanna tie up your hair or what you wanna use or wouldn't wanna use on your sister lock. Some of you are starting your lock journey, so you have the bonnets or the scarves, or maybe you use a combination of both. These are certain some of the hair ties that I used while I was starting my lock journey all the way up until not too long ago, and I use these interchangeably. Some of them I don't even use no more. I always, like I said, I'm on the hunt for different hair pieces and stuff to make my sister locks just more enjoyable to have. I know I showed you guys this in my wash video early on my channel, but this is the Turby Twist. It's pretty much a towel that once you're out the shower, you wash your sister locks, you put this on, put it this way, tie it up, and then you put the this end through this hoop, and that's how you dry your locks. My locks have definitely surpassed the length of this, so I no longer have use for it, but it's a great thing to have, and if you are starting your lock journey, definitely look into getting the turkey twist. It'll make washing so much more fun once you have a towel that you could just put on and just boom, let it go. Second thing I bought was a do-rag. Now, I don't know why I bought this do-rag. I think I bought this do-rag because of the thick, the thick part right here. I think I had it in my mind that I could wrap this around the edges of my hair. Um, I don't know. I think this was the sale for me, but I honestly don't think that I use this ever. Uh, I don't think I ever use this. A do-rag, you know, that's something that I have laying around. The infamous bonnet. So I do have a bonnet, but I personally don't like bonnets. I feel that it's not really good or conducive to sister locks because it can rub against your sister locks. And if you have thinning locks, um, it's probably not the best thing to have a bonnet simply because of this elastic part right here. But I still bought it because it is a head covering and when you're in the house and you're not sleeping with it, it could be a good way to kind of like keep your locks up and away. Now, this was my favorite by far of the hair ties or hair pieces that I had to keep my hair up and away. I constantly wear this thing. This is what I call a bow rag. It looks like a do-rag, but you put it on as a bonnet. And the brim, like around your hairline, it is not elastic. It is silk, like the rest of the headpiece. So I love this. Like I personally love this hair piece and I wear it constantly, but I had a little accident. So what happened was I was in lab and I actually caught my sister locks on fire in a sense. I had this on and I was working on a project and my hair was up and out because it was in a, a hive and then the flame actually burnt my hair. So it made a hole in this thing as you can see. Luckily I didn't lose any sister locks or my locks didn't burn but I did have to go to get my hair professionally washed to get the smell out of my hair. Because of that hole, I'm like, damn, I gotta get something else. I could get another one, but I bought this so long ago, so I would have to like really search for it. I don't remember where I bought it. But I did go to my local beauty supply store and I ran across the spandex cap for dreadlocks. 
and is a four-way stretch material allows your hair to fall back naturally it's unisex super long so the features of this cap is it's super long covers bigger locks prevents lint in locks protecting your hair from breakage preserving hairstyles in sleep stay put during sleep and high impact activity comfortable band ultra stretch breathable and lightweight so I wanted to review this and do it on camera so you can see how it is. So it just came in this package and this is what it looks like. It definitely is long. It's probably, well actually no, they're like the same size. This is more silk and this one is more spandexy. I'm going around the band area. Now I don't know what to think about it yet. It does have an elastic feel to it. I don't know if I'm gonna like this or not because I'm so used to, I'm so used to mines just being seamless with the silk. So I don't know how I'm gonna feel. But the only way to find out is to try it on. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Let me take off this towel. So now I'm going to put the cap on and I'm gonna see how it fits. So I'm looking for the back or where the seam is. So I guess this is the back because this is the seam. So I'm just going to put this on. So I put it on like a hat. Normally I would put my head down and do it that way but because I'm on camera, I'm just going to put it like this, put it up. And then I'm going to, that was a fail. <laughs> that was a fail. Hold on, let me, let me do this. Hold on a second. <laughs> okay. So I just got off the camera and just did it that way. Stuff my lock in there like a hot potato. All right, let's see how it looks. So this is what it looks like. Hmm. Okay. Um, you know what? I don't know if I like the seam coming down this way. Let me see if I can turn it so that the seams is by my ears instead of, yeah, this is way better, way better. Perfect. Mind you, I just jumbled my hair in it. Of course, I could fix it in a way where if I wanted to like stand up like this, which is the way this one fits me. This is how I normally would wear my locks if I was going out in the street. This is how it would look. It's definitely comfortable. The elastic is kind of tight, but that's okay because as I wear it more and more, it'll definitely stretch out. So this is it, this is the Dreadlock Super Long Unisex. I got it at my local beauty supply store. I paid $5.99 for it. I will insert a link in the description if I can find it on Amazon and if it's something that you're interested in. And that's it for this video. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you really like this video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.